Hello and welcome back to the Blade of Akka channel. You are watching No Man's Sky. We are here on Olisnap Nazar, a cold world, minus 70 degrees. Plenty of creatures to be found here. Let's just recharge my life support a minute. Look at this bad boy over here. Wow, how ugly can you get? Oh, he's coming straight. He's coming right at me! <laughs> yeah, so plenty of creatures to find straight away. Uaquata Nodfali. Is that the same thing? Yeah, same thing. So I say plenty of creatures, but they were all the same thing. <laughs> There's some more red dots here. Look at the... What the hell? It's a living... I mean, well, flowers are living anyway, but it's an actual... moving flower. Flying flower. I've never seen anything like that before. Have well, we got some birdie types? Come on, scan. Ugh. All right, I'm going to get closer. Oh, it's a baby one of those ugly things. Viperia haxorix. Let's get some iron because we're on a cold world. I'm going to need the shielding. All right, come on, suckers. Scan. See if there was anything else about to scan first. Some rocks. No, okay, just the birdie things. Come on. Come on. Come on. Scan. Scan it. Thank you. Carboral Akron and Akron Law. I can lure? Who knows? Right, there's some water. There's probably some fishies. Let's have a check. No, actually, well, unless it's got some kind of inhibitor, it can't be water, can it? Liquid methane, maybe? No. Yeah, methane? I don't know. Yon or Dargo Hidaren. Oh look, there's some more over there. Is there any more? Normally you kind of... You get like a predator, but... I can't see one on the radar. They're quite obvious, because it's like a single white dot that moves around. Yeah, these are proper fishy types. Cudica Hidaren. Swimming with the fishies. Alright, is there anything? Ah, oh, red dot. Let's go and check that out. It's a shield, isn't it? That one. And what have we got here? Mogan Gwesu. It's passive. <laughs> Ugly sucker. What the hell? What? <laughs> oh, we got another red dot here. Oh, it's another one of those Mogan Gwesus. Well, oh, we've only got two to find. Oh, here's a new one. Haven't seen one of these before. Yeah, that was a new one. Chichapso Efuga. Hmm. 
Look at this monolith. I haven't seen one like this before. Let's get these words. Discover. Feel. Okay. Wow, this is odd looking. Clearly sharing a some kind of spear inside a, a circle. My movement seems normal, but everything else is running faster than it should. The sun spins around this globe in seconds. Days endlessly turn to night and back again. The creatures that gaze and hunt around sight pass by in a blur. I'm trapped in a time vortex. Numbers on my multi-tool seem to tick higher and higher. The closer I get to the monolith, the more disturbance is added to the timeline. Move array or touch the monolith? I think touch the monolith is the right one here. Traveller, move... Oh no, move move back. Oh, move back, gep, join future. Oh, move away then. I step out into the future. My experience is unchanged, but galactic interest rates have had an effect on my unit count. <laughs> We're going to get some free units. 1900 odd units. I did, did, did I get a word? Oh, Atlas for... Atlas word for galaxy. Atlas word? I've got to learn Atlas as well. Can I, can I blow these off? No. Well, I can't seem to do anything with this monolith. Oh, red dot, red dot. What are you? What's that? Chichap soap, so F you go. I think I already had one of those. Wrong thing. Yeah, I've still got one to find. Oh well. Another monolith. What's this one say? No Sior go Air landmark. The first spawn of the Gek overreach. They stretch too far. Their folly and pride knew no bounds. Again and again they tried. Again and again they were repelled. The unstoppable force of the Sentinels could not be broken. It could not be withstood. The unbendable cannot be broken. You have learnt the Corvax for interrupted. Where do the Sentinels come from? No ships are ever seen arriving to deposit them, yet we know they have spatial drives and can appear on any planet. Do they build themselves from resources on the worlds that they infest? Like a mechanoid virus drawing on the host body to metastasize new matter. Corvax science speaks of metals in their makeup that should not exist in our age of the universe. No one has ever seen them built. They are simply here, as if the universe expresses them into existence. What do I get for this? Uh, something I already have. Health module Vita. Right. Look at that cheeky son of a... Yeah. Oh! Oh, I found the last one, I reckon. Predator, of course. Helixidi Mebathoth. Mebathoth. He's fairly big. Uh, I mean, he says one and a half metres tall, but it looks bigger than that, to be honest. But He's going to die anyway. Right, time to get back to the ship. Right, we're back at the ship, and we are pretty much done with Olix, uh, Olix Nap Naza. Yeah, that's the name of the place. Right. Now we need to go and find the next planet. Let's get up into the atmosphere and find our way there. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, we're still a bit too close to the planet, I think. Uh, Uganda X City, yeah, done that one. That's Uganda again. Right. Boost. Okay. Right. There's all the snap. What's that one? Urukaloi Axel. Yeah. Discovered that one already. Aha. What's that little dot there? Zuto Vessel Yalskiv. Right, we're nearly there. Just doing the burn into the atmosphere. Let's find a decent place to land. Hmm, this one looks like it may be hot. I don't know. It's probably something like radioactive. Who knows? We shall see. Down we go. No, stable level. Volatile winds. Sentinels low. Flora full. Fauna fair. Irradiated planet. <laughs> okay. I guessed it. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now. Smash it. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. What am I hitting it with? Oh, I put a stick on all of a sudden.